Hey guys, welcome back to Reputation, Reputation at Stake. Stake. Forgot what we were doing. Um, so I just wanted to share, I was outside watching my dogs and I was kind of thinking about our journey so far on Carnivore. We just did our week 13 update. I've been noticing some things. I've been noticing things like when I wake up in the morning and it doesn't matter if it's at six in the morning or maybe even at five in the morning, I noticed as soon as I wake up, as soon as I know I'm going to get up for the day, I don't have the desire to roll over and go back to sleep. I kind of feel like energy in the pit of wherever your seat of energy is. And it just kind of like goes, oh, you're awake. Here you go. <laughs> and it just kind of like starts sparking and, and turning in your body. I find that really amazing because we we come from a point in time in our lives where we were eating the standard American diet. We were trying to do right, but we were also trying to shut up stress and all that kind of stuff yeah. with things that aren't good for you. So things I've noticed so far on Carnivore, we've just obtained our three month journey. And I just, I noticed as soon as I wake up, there's energy there. And it kind of got me thinking, you know, waking up tired is not normal. It's America's normal, Yeah. but that's not how we were created. We were created to move. We were created, I mean, we were created to be full of so much energy and to do so much things during the day that God himself actually had to tell people, be still and know that I am God. He didn't say, hey, wake up and get moving. He was telling people, hey, take a moment for me. We are so busy in our lives with modern technology and jobs and family and all these things. And we are completely exhausted all the time, all, all the time. Like... We as humans are not created to be sad, sick, tired. I think there was a documentary that was called Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. Yeah. We are not created to feel that way all the time. We do get sick. We do get sad. We do get tired. Like those are normal things people do, but we're not to feel that way all the time. Some of the biggest culprits of that is lifestyle and then diet. Things that really hurt our bodies are seed oils, like canola oil, all, all the oils. When you go down the oil aisle, like almost all of those probably are feeding into making us feel sick. It's literally poison to our bodies. Any complex carb in a box. So our pastas, um, any, anything that is uh, cereal, like anything that's readily available in a box and you have to do very little to prepare it. I really think that is making us not feel optimal where we feel achy and pains. Um, I don't, I don't think it's normal. Like it's, it's so weird to feel in pain now, three months into carnivore, three months into no carbs, three months into all this kind of stuff. It's not normal to hurt. Right. Like we say, oh, it might be lupus. Oh, it might be all these Lyme's disease, Lyme's or... disease like all these things. And I, I do believe you will have flare ups of things, but I also believe if you give your body a chance to rest, I believe your body can heal. Yeah. And I know for myself, I have Hashimoto's thyroid disease. I have um, diabetes, type diabetes type two, like PCOS, yeah. like you, you name it. I probably have it. And there might even be more that I haven't been diagnosed with because I'm not one to just pop a bunch of pills. I did not feel good on it. So it's a personal choice I had not to do those things. But I will tell you on the Sad American Diet, I hurt and I am a big consumer of Advil <laughs> because my body just hurts. It hurts. It hurts. I don't even know how to explain it. It feels like someone's just taking all my joints in my body and just like ripping them apart and holding it there at the most painful point. And um, in order to get relief, I had to take Advil. I don't think anyone, unless you're a medical miracle, needs to feel that way on a daily basis. <laughs> and that's kind of a weird term, medical miracle, for somebody who's kind of cursed. I mean, someone who's yeah. gone through a horrible life yeah. in pain. Yeah, I would, I would strongly encourage you. You don't have to take my word for it. There's lots of other people you can look to, but... I would love to encourage you, if you are in pain all the time, if you are always tired, if you are severely depressed, first off, go get help. We are not medical doctors. Yeah. I believe Dr. Barry has created a network of doctors who will work with low carb across the whole United States. You can, um, Dr. Barry cannot become your doctor, but 
he can, he's a doctor, so he can give medical advice. You could join one of his groups. Seek help, but also take a look at your diet. So if you are depressed, if you are hurting every single night, if you are waking up exhausted, <laughs> I would like to ask you just to take a look at what your diet is. If your diet's full of McDonald's, or if you think you're eating healthy and you're still not feeling good, are you eating seed oils? Are you eating plants who are harvested with Roundup and therefore you're eating poison? Are you consuming anything like that on a daily basis? Because that's not going to make you feel good. Mm. And then check out some of the other carnivore videos and see how those people are feeling. Because I feel, I mean, I'm not at 100% yet. I'm only three months in. My body still has a lot of healing to do, but I feel so much better. And, and the other thing is if two o'clock rolls around, three o'clock rolls around, if you just can't wait to go to bed at that point, that's also not normal unless you're getting up at three o'clock in the morning, but it's not normal just to poop out. Uh, we were created to do as much as we need to do in a day. And when you go to bed, you almost go to bed uh, three months on carnivore. I go to bed going, there's so much more I could do. I'm just sick of doing stuff. Therefore I'm going to bed. And I also want to be rested for the next day. You yeah, know? the date like, day's coming, so I better prepare. Yeah, so I, I think the normal should be very little pain, very little like depression. I mean, it's normal to be sad when bad things happen. It's normal to be sad. I'm not saying you'll never be sad, but you shouldn't be stuck in depression. You shouldn't be stuck in sadness. You should be excited to start your day. You should be, even if you hate your job, you should be able to get through it, you know? But so it's just kind of my thought that I've noticed in three months doing carnivore is, hey, wait a minute, being in pain is not normal. Yeah. You know, like, hello. <laughs> yeah. This life, you don't have to have a nightmare life. You can, there is, yeah. there's a way. There's hope. I mean, first off, your hope is in Jesus, right? And then second off, your hope needs to be, hey, cut out the seed oils, the processed foods, maybe give strict carnivore a try, maybe try keto, like whatever your comfort level is, but at least get off the processed foods. I, I really am worried for America. I think it's a very slippery slope. Yeah, yeah, and and to bring uh, to add to that, uh, what is it? Inflammation is the source of most, the majority of all deaths. Yeah, the source, it's like the number one marker, right? For even heart attacks, it's not high cholesterol; it's inflammation in your body. And what feeds inflammation? We're talking about, of course, tomatoes can, and there's certain things. Sure, that there's natural things that can, yeah, that can, but specifically carbs and sugar. Yeah, and people, I've noticed in my family, the older someone is, they've got more inflammation than um, other people. Like a younger person will just gobble up sugar in cans of soda, and they're fine. But the person who's gotten older and older and older, they've got inflammation growing, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Arthritis and Arthritis. all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And so when they go on this carnivore diet, they, they're turning, again, turning the volume down. I've used that in another video. Right. They turn the volume down on how loud and painful that is until finally it's going to eventually go away because you're yep. healing. Yeah. Sorry. I, it's exciting news. I want to Yeah. So if you want to promote healing in your body, stop the sugar. Yeah. Like that's like sugar is kind of like the madness, like yeah. stop the madness, just stop the sugar and you have an opportunity to feel better. Right. I think. Yeah. And even if you have to adapt slowly to right. get off sugar. Yeah. You don't have to go a hundred percent. Cause it cold Turkey, you can do it, but it's painful. You, <laughs> it can be painful. And so like, if like, I know in my family, it's, uh, my dad doesn't like stevia. Right. Right. And I, and I don't even use stevia anymore, but you had a period of time where you would mix half sugar, half stevia, and there was a slow transition until finally I was all stevia and didn't even know it. Yeah. And I said, if you took three months to do that to your taste, eventually you get to stevia and then eventually you dial the stevia back and you just got cream and cream actually does have a sweetness to it. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's like, I don't even need sugar of any type in my coffee anymore. Yeah, I think I'm ready to do away with stevia. Like the last few experiences I have haven't been that great. Yeah. So it's kind of nice to get one more thing out the door. Yeah, he should. I guess be, we're still transitioning. <laughs> he showed me his the other day and it had erythritol or whatever yeah. in it as the main ingredient. And then it said, and stevia, natural stevia extract. 
from the leaf. And I'm like, yeah, but you just said erythritol, so I'm assuming... So you're still having a little bit of cocaine every day. Yeah. You're just not having a full teaspoon of cocaine, but you still have a substance of cocaine. Yeah, there's like... It could, once you start breaking into the chemicals, it's like, what are we really doing long term? Yeah. What are the effects? I think anytime you have to take any food and change it into something else in order to do something with it, your body kind of doesn't recognize it as food anymore. So I think all the sugar substitute, and I think even stevia, your body's still going to react a little bit, but you have to get to the point you're willing to give it up. Right. And, and that, that takes time. That can, yeah, it's kind of like training wheels, right? Like just like fat adapting takes time Yeah, coming off of sugar takes time. And so you should, you can, but for those that can't just cut it in a week, there is still a path for you to take your time, have a transition period, map it, map it out and go for it. You know, yeah. work, plan your work and work your plan. That's right. Speak. So that was my little rant for the week is if you feel sick, tired, and nearly dead, you don't have to just maybe consider taking a look at what your diet is. And then, you know, maybe you want to give carnivore or keto or ketovore a shot and just try more natural approach to life. Yes. So that's my soapbox for the week. All right. Take care and God bless. Take care, everybody. Thank you.